Hi, y'all. Wanted to do a video kind of going over this 3G alternator install. I did not, I wasn't making videos when I put it in, but I wanted to tell y'all about it. Um, it wasn't a very complicated process. I'll put up some wiring diagrams at the end of the video to give y'all a general idea of, of how we installed it. Um, you will need the 3G alternator, of course. You'll need this wire right here, which is a fusible link, which came off of a 95 Mustang. I had to relocate my solenoid to the inner fender instead of being mounted up here um, so that the fusible link would be long enough to reach. But it's pretty much three wires. Like I said, the wiring diagram will show you. And this alternator, instead of putting out the 60 amps that the factory alternator puts out, puts out about 130 amps. Uh, it's a much better alternator. <clears throat> it's easier to find it. You can run down to AutoZone and get one. I had to do some grinding on the bracket down at the bottom, I believe it was. Just trimmed a little bit off and it worked fine with the factory bracket. I had to get new hardware for the bottom. You see I had to put a nut and bolt on there. And I had to get longer belts. You will need to measure your belts before you go and try to buy them. That way you'll know exactly what size to get. I am running two belts just so they it's less slippage. Um, but that's, that's the 3G alternator install and that's what it looks like. I like that it has an internal fan instead of the external fan. And like I said, I'm going to show y'all some diagrams as to how I wired this up and, um, uh, Hopefully y'all will be able to do the same.